are on YouTube, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV, and we're back with another video. And this time around, the video is regards to the departure of Yaya Sonogo from Arsenal. So basically, Yaya Sonogo has been at the club for a number of years now, and he's not actually made the impact we all expected him to make when he arrived. We all know that he arrived from France on a free transfer, and at the time, he'd actually just suffered a double leg break. So for those that know what a double leg break is, uh, it's basically when someone breaks both their legs. So a report has actually come out from the, the Mirror in the UK, which states that Sonogo did not make a single first-team appearance for Arsenal this season gone, with the Arsenal boss Arsene Wenger saying the medical problem was confidential. So we don't really know what his uh, issue was at the time. Wenger also added that the injury was in his calf, but not a life-threatening problem. Sonogo returned to action in April and scored a hat-trick for the under-23s against Reading, but he was not offered a new contract by Arsenal. So during this time he also went away on loan, I think he went away to Charlton and uh, he played a number of games for Charlton over there, I'm not too sure if he scored a number of goals, he may have scored a number of goals, I haven't really looked into it truthfully speaking. But I think Yaya Sanogo came to the club on a running theme by Wenger. So basically the theme, in my opinion, is Wenger has always wanted a big centre forward, someone who can get the balls in through the air, so like headers in the box and a threatening presence within the box, uh, so a target man basically. And this started with, in my opinion, Henri. Henri was one of those big centre forwards, wasn't really great in the air, or he didn't really need to score a lot of headers, Henri didn't. But then we moved on to Adebayo. Adebayo was the next that target man Wenger tried to actually uh, put into the squad and make sure that he played the way that he wanted to play. Um, Adebayo scored fantastic goals for Arsenal. I thought at the time when he left, he was a brilliant player for Arsenal. But obviously things went as they went and we know where he is now. The next player in that list was Nicholas Bentner. Sir Nicholas Bentner. He was the uh, the next player in that list of a big target men. He obviously found Drew in the end. Drew has performed well and has been a great, great asset for Arsene Wenger in the way he likes to play. The other player in this equation or this list is Yaya Sonogo. He was meant to be that big target man, but his potential actually never got fulfilled. So I'm glad to see the back of this guy for him to leave the club. It wasn't really a squad player, someone who you can obviously bring on and he can, he can actually score a goal. He's not that type of player. But again, his age, he was young and not a lot of experience, even though he'd scored a lot of goals over in France. So what do you guys think? Uh, do you think it was worth holding on to him? Uh, or it's good that we've seen the uh, the back of Yaya Sonogo? Please leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm Gonna Talk TV. It's your boy TC and I'm out.